Hey, this is Mark Spess from AnimateClay.com and today I'm going to just do a quick review of a very specific function in Stop Motion Pro version 8 and it's for rig removal and rig removal is really a popular topic in stop motion because you can make your characters fly and uh, for this we're going to use Stop Motion Pro 8 Studio Plus we also have a Logitech 2 megapixel quick cam and also an animation supplies rigging system which you can get at stopmotionstore.com okay so in our case we're going to use a fluorescent desk lamp and hand solo will be really flickery if we just capture individual frames so we're going to add some frames of frame averaging as they call it what that does is it will simultaneously take a few frames of uh, of animation and combine them into one frame by averaging out all of their qualities. So let's say for example one frame has a little bit more flicker or is brighter and one frame is darker, it will combine them and make sure that the, the lighting levels are evened out. So with web cameras like mine, the Logitech Quick Camera, it's only two megapixels and um, everything uh, as you'll see later we're gonna set to uh, manual so that we don't have any flicker problems if, you know, or the minimalized flicker problems, you'll still kind of have some differences between frames as we found out. Uh, so what we do essentially is we open up our camera dialog box which will be different for every user, it depends on uh, what your camera is, but uh, for mine, you know, Logitech Quick Cameras, they all pretty much had the same dialog box that you can bring up, uh, usually by going to your start um, you click on start and then find the folder for the quick camera uh, and then from there it will just open up all the all the menus so what we're doing is we just line up our character in the frame and we have him on our rig so it'll appear like, as though he's flying and we want to erase that rig later so what we'll do uh, is make sure that everything looks right uh, we'll zoom in properly, we'll move the camera and, and compose the shot the way we want it. And again, this is just going to be a, a, a very quick test to see how it works. So I'm going to capture a background image and that will be sort of our background plate. And then we'll have the foreground which will be Han Solo and the rig. Okay, so what I did is I simply moved Han Solo on his rig and I moved the rig away. And here I am pressing the button and capturing an, a single background plate frame. And uh, so everything is focused where Han Solo was in the shot. And then what I need to do is I need to move him back into the frame. Uh, it's very simple to do with uh, Stop Motion Pro. Um, essentially you have a live image of your web camera. And what you can do is position things to back the way they were which is the great thing about Stop Motion Pro, of course. Uh, most capture programs can do this. Um, now what I'll do is uh, I'll have to capture another frame here and then what I want to do is remove that rig and make it look as though he's flying. Okay, so to do that all we have to do is click on the tools and then rig removal button and I'm going to select uh, from my type for the background plate I'm just going to have stored frames as the frame that I want to use as the background plate and it's the first frame that I took so it's really simple just to select frame number one and then here is uh, the second frame that shows up with our rig and uh, it's really simple to remove essentially on the right side you have your brush size and your actions and uh, I'm just using the default brush to test it out but uh, over on the right side you can just select how large you want it as well as how much feathering or blurriness around the the outer edge that you want um, and as you can see you know with a quick cam and a fluorescent light it's really the worst kind of conditions to do this but uh, it works really well and you can see just by clicking on the mouse the left mouse button and dragging it right over the the rig itself the rear uh, background layer is exposed and uh, from what I understand uh, you know these are um, each frame is not actually altered so you can go back into Adobe Photoshop if you like 
uh, a free program you can use also is GIMP. And these are programs you can use to do this in a, in a potentially nicer way if you want to. But, um, you know, just for this, it works really good. Um, the background layer was a little bit darker for some reason, and I'm almost positive that's because of the, you know, what I'm capturing with. And uh, <clears throat> I did bump hand solo, and you can see in our, our live frame that he kind of moved a, a bit. But as I go back between the first background plate image and um, the rig removed image, where the, the rear layer is showing through, you can see it looks really good. So um, I would give this probably an 8 out of 10. I think that probably if you wanted to uh, do this more professionally, you want to use a DSLR camera, uh, which will give you a lot better results. But you know, for a, a web camera that only cost me about mm, maybe $25 or so, uh, it works great. And um, if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and write me at mark at and good luck with your projects.